Okay, hello. I'm Audrey. And I'm Brian. We're the subs, both of us, this week for Level 3 in December at Wednesday Night Hop 2013, uh, week two. Mm -hmm. And we're continuing our c connection class with uh, a little bit of stuff face to face. So last week you guys were doing all this side to side stuff. This week we're doing a whole bunch of face to face. And we started with just changing our weight back and forth and, you know, making sure we take the follower with us. We emphasize the pulse here. I cannot emphasize that enough. A an even pulse on every beat. So we're not <laughs> doing <laughs> or anything to like yeah yeah some of you are going like shallow deep shallow deep shallow deep but we want to do uh, uh, an even pulse and we're not stepping too far outside of our base we're not doing oh that yeah yeah that's gonna make your uh, pulse uneven we just want to step almost underneath ourselves just moving a little bit and after we did that a while we added some rock steps a rock step we Make sure that you don't do this stop, rock, step, stop. We're keeping it alive the whole time. Bounce, 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 bounce. You can do multiple rock steps and then change as many as you want on either side. And what else did we add? We just kept adding things on the... I can't describe it and do it at the same time. <laughs> so, so you should do, you should say something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was having trouble too talking. And yeah. So those were side rocks. So we have our rock step step, rock step step, and then we have our side rocks. So we're just doing a little bit of a shift with our hips. We don't want to do like a tilt with our shoulders. Yeah, we don't want to do just with our hips either. Um, we're de definitely taking our weight over, but not transferring it. And then we made a distinction while we were doing this also of like just pulsing and then doing like a little 30% shift or 50% shift. However you need to think of it, you have to experiment with the whole spectrum of it to see what is effective with the follower that you're dancing with. Or any follower, you know, you want to foolproof, full formulate a foolproof <laughs> method. Yes. Um, I, I feel like we did more, and actually we had more that we wanted to do. So I think Brian's going to come back next week and teach a little bit of that too, because we if we want to do us. we <laughs> want to do triples. Yes. And um, but that's it for this week. We're going to do a lot uh, more exercises. Oh yeah, we started sugar pushes. So we never really got to the sugar push, but we talked about having active fingers, loose hands. Loose arms. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Loose yeah, arms. Yeah. Active hands and fingers and loose, loose, loose arms. And we're talking about connecting in with this part of our finger. It can feel really super secure. You don't want to slip out of it at all. Sometimes Brian takes the pistol grip and, and allows people with small hands like myself uh -huh. to really uh, connect in really nicely with that with that meaty part of the finger yep. and then if that is secure and active and and um, engaged then we can really relax the arm completely uh, and, and that's our um, goal so a lot of leads were having trouble like letting go of this like active arm position where they're like actively holding up their hands against gravity but you just want to let it be totally loose and so if we let go drops them yeah so that also when you have this you can make a distinction from when you want to lean in, then you activate that, and then you relax, and then if you lean out, then you have that sort of but, activation. Uh, in between, we can be loose, active, active loose, loose, active, active loose, loose, active, loose, active. Yeah? Well, <laughs> Brian also talked about engaging this back of this part of your back so, so squeeze that together your shoulder blades a little bit put your shoulders down too and then you don't have to overextend or or yeah so you know. it's impossible for you to like hyperextend your arm like like this yeah like so it'll it. like force you to have like good connection but it's generated in your back versus your arm so it's gonna be a lot more gentle than if you're like squeezing down on your arm yeah yeah if if I pull on 
on Brian and he has he's not activated like that his shoulder will come out like this and we don't want that we want it to be engaged so that when I pull he will come his whole body will come forward yeah yeah okay that's a lot of stuff I mean, we did a lot of exercises so we'll do more next week and we'll see you then